hello welcome guys so in this video i am going to show you how you can create the oracle cloud integration instance that can be test dev one or prod pre prod sit uat any instance you want right so first what you need to do is that you need to just log in your oracle cloud account so let me log in first so i have already inserted the details that's why i directly log in so you can see that after the login you need to click it here and you have to select that developer services inside the developer services if you will go to the application integration you need to click on that integration once you will click on that integration first you need to select the compartment so right now i have selected the compartment zephyr aaron zephyr as my default compartment so you have to select the compartment if you have more than one compartment right so then after okay so let me check go through the yeah so i have selected the compartment and now what i need to do is that you can see that right now i don't have any instance right so for creating the instance i need to click on that create button and i need to give the display name for that instance so let me give you the instance day for dev1 okay dev1 and fox dev1 let me give fox dev1 okay so fox dev1 that is will be enterprise and the subscribe to new oracle account message pack will be one so if you if you want to like know about the what is difference between a standard and enterprise just you can go here edition and after click on that learn more you will get to know about the what is difference between addition and enterprise so you can see that in a standard you don't have that process right oracle process cloud but in enterprise you have all this thing right so integration inside and all everything so you can just go here and compare so now what i need to do is that i need to just click on that create button so it will take some time so right now you can see that uh, the new instance is right here but it in, in creation status so it will take time it will take minimum four to five minutes so i will wait for five minutes then i will check so let me pause the video for that so if you will see right now it's not created right any it is in creating a status so if you will click here you can see the basic details of that uh, basic details of your uh, instance so you can see that visual builder not enable ftp right now it's nothing is configured right now right so it will take some time to configure so let me go back and after the creation completed it will be green right so let's wait for that so if you want to create another instance right so let just click on that and yeah you can click on that so i will create fox crp suppose so crp fox let me put that sit right sit everything will be same click on that create i will create one uat instance then i will create the prod instance right so fox uat everything will be same create so all these instance we are creating for development purpose right first we will create the integration in development instance dev1 instance then we'll go for sit then uat and the finally once everything will be clear the everything integration will be uh, approved by the user by the functional team and by everyone like then we'll go to move to same to the production environment so fox prod okay so just create so it will take some time to create right so right now it's all in creation status so it will take some time so just wait for that so right now if you will see it's all in creation status if you want to see the how much percentage of like uh, process it's begin so you can click on that and if you will click on that work request so you can see that 82 percent is completed in the case of creation so just wait for that then after we'll check okay so just give some time so if you will see that uh, the first instance i have created that fox dev1 is active now so let me click on that fox dev1 and let me show you all the details so if you will see that work request status status is it succeeded 100 percent and it is all the basic details right so let me see the this is the service console url so let me copy the url and just paste it here so right now i have not created the user for the instance so that the user which i will use is the super user right 
or the admin user which I have created the instance or the Oracle Cloud account. In next video, I will show you how you can create the user and you can add the user into the uh, instance and add the uh, roles to the user. So here you can see that the instance is created Oracle integration. The instance name is that Fox Dev one and these are the post fix as Oracle Cloud given. So if you will see here you click here we have all these things we have processes oracle process cloud we have integration oracle integration cloud b2b we have visual builder so all these things right so if you will click on this integration you will get all the attributes like whatever we use to create integration that is integration connection lookup package agent adapters and also in uh, next video i will create video related to each and everything and will show you how you can create the integration i also i have created the previous video you can go and you can check out all that also right so just i am waiting for that like how much time it will take to create all the rest of instance so if i will check the status of this instance so it is 80 percent right so it will take some more time so here right now we have created successfully the instance so uh, just comment below how you are feeling that and uh, yeah if this video is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video thank you so much we will meet in next video and in that video i will show you how you can create the user and uh, like you and you can add the user to the particular instance okay thank you so much